Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is actually the makeup look that I did. I did a TikTok video um, this past couple days and I got a lot of compliments on the makeup. And basically I'm just like wearing this like little shimmery shadow and you know, I didn't really think much of it, but I got so many compliments that I was like, hey, I'll just do that as my next video. So um, yeah, I just, the, the video that I did, the TikTok video, it was about me doing makeup for a TikTok video, but I really wasn't doing the video for that. I was actually doing it for something for work. Um, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy this video, and if you want to see how I got this look, please keep watching. Okay guys, so I'm starting out today's makeup with all my complexion is done. I've already done my foundation, which today I use the NARS um, All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation in the color Santa Fe. I use the NARS Creamy Concealer in um, Vanilla. I also use the, um, underneath I use the Becca Brightening Corrector. Um, Fenty Beauty Stick in Mocha as a cream contour. I use this Pixi Skin Treats Nourishing Lip Polish. My lips are super dry. I haven't been wearing makeup a lot, so no need to do lipstick, but, because the lipsticks that I usually use are pretty hydrating. But um, I, you know, I just kind of put on chapstick or whatever when I remember, but my lips have gotten super chapped in this time. So, so this one's got like a little exfoliating kind of stuff on it. So that's why I'm using this one. And then I also use the P. Louise shadow base on my lids. And that's all I have so far. I'm going to do another kind of talk through because I just feel like there's so much going on right now that I just don't feel like a tutorial is anything um, that I want to do, um, but I do want to do my makeup and I do want to talk to you guys, so um, I'll just be kind of talking as I'm doing this. I'm going to use my Lime Life um, by Alcone powder, and I'm just going to kind of set underneath my eyes. Because I already did my face, um, I don't want to get any um, anything on my foundation when I do my eyes. Um, I usually always do my eyes first, you guys know that, but since I already um, put my concealer and everything on I need to make sure that this is all powdered so for my baking powder under my eyes I'm gonna use this Fenty Beauty lavender powder and I'm gonna put it on with my real techniques sponge and it is damp and I'm just gonna set under here just kind of pile it on there so it'll bake at the same time as catching any fallout from my shadows. This time I'll go ahead and um, tell you what I'm using, but I'm still gonna not, you know, just say what I'm using basically, but I'm not gonna do it. It's not like a tutorial. I'm just gonna tell you what I'm using. So I'm gonna look funny through this because I'm gonna keep this on like this. Um, I'm gonna just go ahead and put a little bit under here. What I used was the Violet Voss Pro Palette. And this is one that I had got in one of my um, I think I got it in the boxy Lux. Um, it's really pretty neutral colors, which is funny because I'm actually waiting for the um, Makeup Geek. I got the neutral palette. I already ordered it. It's just they're not shipping it out right now. Um, I already got the colorful one already, but I don't need any of those right now because I'm pretty much only a neutral person. So when I do a look with a lot of color, I'll use that. But um, but this palette I absolutely love. I don't remember if I told you guys that I did cancel both my Ipsy and my Boxy Charm and Boxy Lux. I don't care, do any of the subscriptions anymore. It was just like, yeah, I get great pieces, but it's like, if I want this, I just buy this. I don't need all the extra stuff that comes along with it that I've never used. So I, I discontinued all my, my subscriptions, but I'm very happy I have this. I'm gonna block this off here so we block off the mirror, but I'm gonna use this color here called Transition First. And pardon my nails. I always have nails, but obviously with <laughs> all this going on, my nail salon is closed. So I just decided to take off my nails. Um, I soaked them off myself. So I'll definitely let those rest so it's good. I can get a little resting out of that. I'm going to put a little bit of that powder as well on my lids. Okay. So I'm going to take my big fluffy brush. JH30 brush, which is a nice big fluffy brush, dip into that color, and then I'm just going to go ahead and start adding that to my crease. So we are now in week two, 
now of this quarantine. We've been, I know it's been two weeks that I've been at work, so um, now I'm gonna use this color right here called Are You Kitten Me? So now we just heard today that President Trump is extending it for another two weeks. Um, I know that's mixed feelings for everybody because everybody wants to get back to work. You know, everybody's going stir crazy at home. Um, however, like, do we go back and, you know, it's too soon and then you can just start the reinfecting everybody again. You know what I mean? Like right now, I know for me, every time I go out to the store, I get kind of a little bit of anxiety. Like I put gloves on, I put like a mask on and I'm just like worried just by, even though you, even in line, you can't stand um, six feet away from somebody. So, you know, you're not even next to them yet. I still get scared, you know? So it, that's a scary way to live, to be outside and just be scared to be outside next, if you're next to somebody. So how the hell are you gonna go back to work right now? That's where I'm at. Like, I definitely want to go back to work, but I don't wanna go back too soon to where it's like dangerous, you know what I mean? So I have a lot of mixed feelings about this. I'm gonna use this brown right here called brownie points. So, so yeah, like, what do we do? Um, it's just so stressful because this is just not a way to live, you know what I mean? I mean, I definitely love being around my family every day, don't get me wrong, but when you can't do anything else either, like even my husband, he works from home, so he's used to this, but you know, he can't go to the gym, which he usually goes five days a week to the gym. So, you know, he's like going stir crazy too. So we've been doing at home stuff together. Like he made this little circuit training thing for us to do, which is good because I usually don't go to the gym. So it's got me off my butt and starting to do stuff, you know, but um, yeah, he's just like, this is, you know, it's so different for him, you know? So, um, I just, I just, I mean, I just heard today that we're going to be doing this for another month already, you know, from today. So, so, so weird. But, um, like I heard somebody say, um, we are actually living right now what's going to be in history books in the future. Do you know what I mean? When people are going to look back and be like, oh yeah, the coronavirus of 2020, you know, and we're living that right now. And it's so crazy and weird to know that. Um, but I'm going, everything right now on me, you guys, is looking so, because my lights are so bright right now. Let me see if I can turn this down. Okay, I'm going to take this Estee Lauder Double Wear um, Cream Shadow in Antique. It's like a cream gold. So, um, okay, so I put a little cream base on there, but I'm just going to actually use this Pixie um, Bare Brilliance. It's like one of those. Um, uh, sticks and I'm going to put that right on my lid and I'm going to blend it in with that the brush because it's kind of wet it's really pretty and this one, I mean I have a lot of those um, Stila ones but price wise I think this was half that so if you can get your hands on these pixie ones um, they're really good. However, try to keep your lids down so it doesn't like transfer up to the top. So I've been watching a lot of Netflix as well. Um, you know, like there's so many shows that I've watched and it takes me forever to watch them on a normal day basis because I usually work five days a week and I just don't have time because I want to spend time with my kids on my days off. Um, so I don't ever really get to catch up on things or get to finish watching what I'm wanting to watch. But I, I finished so many shows. I've seen You. Have you guys watched You? Obsessed. Can't wait till that one starts again. Um, and then I watched a couple that I was talking to some friends at work about. And I kind of wish I didn't see them, but I did. And it was um, the Gabriel Fernandez trial. The little boy that was like pretty much beaten to death by his mom's boyfriend and her she abused him as well you know and it and it makes it even worse because I have a little little boy that's turning seven in May 
So I think Gabriel was eight, but he's been he was going through the abuse for a while. So I just can't. It just makes me sick to think of those people like that. Um, and then I also saw um, the "Don't f with cats." Oh my God, that one was creepy as well. Um, I'm gonna use uh, Carbon from Mac. Um, you guys, that guy was, you know, without me telling like what the story is about. Basically, um, I mean, you'll see it in the trailer, or whatever. But um, this guy that like, started out like killing cats on um, like YouTube and um, then turned into an actual murder. Oh my God, and to know that it was true is just mind blowing how sick people are. So I don't know how I watched it, but I did just because I had all this time. Um, but oh my God, just horrifying to watch that. Um, and then right now I just finished um, The Tiger King, which to me was, <gasps> They, everybody on that show, every single one of those people that were in that show was batshit crazy, like literally. Like, I had heard too many people talking about it um, that I was like, ooh, what is this about? You know, it never would have intrigued me thinking of a, you know, a guy that runs a zoo, you know what I mean? Like, who cares, you know, a guy that runs a, exotic cats and stuff like that, that doesn't interest me. But after hearing everybody talking about it, I'm like, what, what is this about? So I watched it, oh my God, you guys. If you haven't seen it you have to see it and it's crazy so yeah I've definitely been watching a lot of movies since this quarantine as well um, so needless to say I haven't been doing anything productive but oh well the productive thing is kind of like I told you before I'm you know now the homeschool for my my um, kids but um, um, you know it's not like a full day it's like a couple hours a day you know and then I am still kind of working from home. I'm doing like online stuff. Um, we get assignments Monday through Friday to, to complete. And it was, it's been nice, you know, to give me something to do as well. Um, let's see. So now I'm gonna just go underneath my eyes. I'm gonna put a little bit more powder. Guess what's left on here? Just cause I wanna go underneath my eyes really quick. I'm going to use the Urban Decay um, eyeshadow primer and this is an Eden every time I put shadow under my eyes it goes away so I feel like I need to use a primer underneath there and I'm just gonna buff it out a little bit with this little buffing brush so going back to this quarantine it's just so weird because like luckily you know like I like I said I talked to my co-workers this past Friday so I know everybody's doing good, um, which is so, you know, I'm so grateful for. I know my family's good, but so I guess you just don't really think about the severity of what's going on out there. I mean, as of today, we're at 130 something thousand cases in the U.S. and t over 2,000 people are dead. Now, it doesn't seem like a lot when you think of how many people are in the world, but I'm sorry, if you round up 2,000 bodies, they had to use like an ice skating rink, I guess they said, um, as a morgue, I think in um, Spain. Like, I mean, that's to me is just horrific to think that. So I'm, I just wish this thing would go away and I just don't know how unless everybody, like they said, unless everybody starts doing their part and really not going anywhere or doing anything because, you know, how it's not gonna go away if everybody doesn't stay home um, like I said you know even even with the little outings that you do to go to the store it's still scary because like we talked about like people are there they don't know if they're sick or not and now you come in contact with them but like I said I do wear a glove I do wear a mask but um, I've been reading you know and I shared it with my family and friends but like when you go to the grocery store, when you pick up food, people have been touching that and it's been on the shelves, so you, that's considered contaminated too. So you have to make sure, that's why you wear your gloves when you're at the store and they wipe off with like sanitizing wipes, you know, like your packaging. And um, it's that extreme. Like it's never gonna go away if, if we don't take those kind of extremes. So yeah, it's just so weird you guys, I just can't even 
fathom how this is going to play out. I just feel sorry, like, watching all these people, you know, on the news and talking about, you know, like, business owners who've, who've, who've pretty much had their business for so long and have had to lay people off. That must be such a horrible feeling to be able, you know, to not have the money to pay your employees, you know. Um, so, it's just, it's really sad. It's really sad what's been going on. Um, I'm going to take uh, my Smolder eyeliner. I know all these, all this time that you're not with your family because I know like you have to be quarantined with, you know, the people that you've been with. You can't keep going bouncing back and forth and stuff. So I told you guys that I have my mom here and my little sister and her family. Uh, my twin sister's family is in California, so they can't come here. But it's like, you know, as sad as it is not to be around each other, I'd rather do the quarantine and stop everything now than never see them again, if that makes sense. <laughs> and everybody's got to think that. Everybody's got to think that, like, if you want this shit to end and you can actually be with your family again, please do your part and, you know, and stay home and, you know, don't go out if you don't have to. Like, every everybody needs food, so of course you're going to have to go out at one point. Um, you know, but, you know, limit that. So, yeah, just scary. And I don't know how, it's just so scary. Okay, so now I'm going to grab my Ciate liner. I love this thing. It's a stamp liner. It actually has a, doot, like a stamp. I haven't used it yet, though. I'm kind of scared to do that. So I just do it myself and I'm just going to line my eyes really quick. So I'm going to take my Scott Barnes contour palette and I'm going to use the color called Sliced. And I'm going to just kind of carve out this little part of my nose. It's weird when you think about like you take like when they say when this thing's over how much you're gonna like not take for granted just being able to go to the store and you know just being able to go to a movie or going you know it's like weird how our lives are totally forever changed by this we have learned to live um, segregated from everybody and I think we're gonna appreciate more just to be able to be around somebody and go to a go to your nail salon, your hair salon, your um, basketball game, baseball game. You know, I know that my son and is so sad that he hasn't been able to play baseball. I'm going to take my bronzer in Capri Coast. This is uh, Becca, and I'm just gonna bronze right through the center of where I had the powder here and the powder down here. Just gonna warm up my skin a little bit. I'm gonna take my Scott Barnes um, blush palette. And I'm going to use this brush from Sigma. The number's run right off, so I don't even know what it is. Just a blush brush. And I always mix the two of these. I use Strike a Rose and Rose. They're just a perfect little color mixed together. Right there in the apples of my cheeks. I'm just going to take my MAC 165 brush, which is kind of stiff, so it helps take all that dusting powder away that was on there. Go back a little bit with your bronzer to warm it up too. And then I'm going to take my Jeffree Star Morphe spray. Still love this one. While it's still wet, I'll put my um, Scott Barnes um, highlighting powder. And I always use these three just mixed together. Pink Crush, Pinkaboo, and Candlelight. I don't know why. I mean, it's just because one's really, really light. One's really, really pink, and one's really, really light gold. So the mixture of them together to me is like amazing. So I love them all mixed together. And it's just such a pretty highlight. <laughs> Right here as well, just to give a little glow. 
And I'm just going to take a little bit of that pink crush, which is the lightest one. It's a very, very pale. And I put that right in the inner corner of my eye. Okay, so that completes that look. I'm going to go ahead and um, turn off the camera. I'm going to do my hair and just put my lashes on and I will be right back. Okay guys, so that's the end of this video. Um, I did my lips with the iconic nude um, liner from Charlotte Tilbury. I used the Pixie um, liquid matte lipstick in matte beige and I used the Pixie gloss in Bon Bon. That's so funny. I used four Pixie products today and that was not planned. These are just what I used that day that I did that video and that's why I did the same ones. I, I used that Pixie shadow. I used the nourishing lip. That's crazy. So yeah, I definitely like Pixie. It's cheap. Um, get it at Target and but they got good products. Anyways, so yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Um, I'm going to try to obviously to do a few more. I definitely have time. Um, but I am kind of doing a little work from home as well. So, but when I have time, I will definitely jump back on here. I don't want to always just talk about this coronavirus because that's like just depressing, but it just, it's been on obviously everybody's mind right now. So that's why these last two videos I was talking about that, but I definitely hope that my next video will just be a regular, regular tutorial. And, um, yeah, I just hope everybody's safe. Um, again, this is just like the weirdest thing ever. So I just wanted to talk about it. So. Thank you for watching um, and I'll see you in my next video.